This is the most ambitious infrastructure race in America, and it's not happening in New York or California. It's happening in Texas. Texas has always done things differently. Big, bold, reluctant to follow. But something is changing. Across 268,000 square miles, a new kind of frontier is emerging. Not made of cattle or oil, but of steel, silicon, and ambition. These aren't just mega projects, they're power moves. Trains that redefine how Americans move. Factories designed by artificial intelligence. Towers built to break orbit. And they're rising with a purpose to move faster, build bigger, and outpace the rest of the country and the world. In 2025, Texas isn't waiting for permission. It's building the future on its own terms. These are the projects changing more than just skylines. They're changing who leads. Join me as we uncover five mega projects reshaping Texas in 2025. Texas Central High Speed Rail, this isn't a train, it's a statement. What you're looking at isn't just a rail line, it's a battlefield. One of concrete courtrooms and conflicting futures. Stretching 240 miles between Dallas and Houston, the Texas Central High Speed Rail project is modeled on Japan's legendary Shinkansen. It's engineered to reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. The vision? Connect two of Texas's largest cities in under 90 minutes. No TSA lines, no highway gridlock, just uninterrupted velocity. But velocity meets resistance. This bullet train has faced nearly a decade of lawsuits, political infighting, and eminent domain battles with rural landowners. Every mile of track represents a negotiation with nature, bureaucracy, and identity. Because in Texas, land is more than land. It's legacy. Still, the concrete pylons have started to rise. Silently, patiently, like the skeleton of something futuristic breaking through a landscape not yet ready to receive it. If built, this will be the first true high-speed rail line in the United States, a country where train travel feels stuck in another century. It could unlock a new blueprint for movement, linking megacities across the heartland, slashing emissions, and challenging air travel. But there's another layer to this structure. A question it forces us to ask, is America still capable of building big, fast, and bold? Or are we too entangled in our own red tape to chase the future? Texas is about to find out. Because this isn't just about steel tracks. It's about whether the country that invented the highway is ready to move beyond it. Tesla Giga Texas. They call it Giga Texas. But this isn't a factory. It's a frontier, a megastructure so vast, it dwarves entire neighborhoods. Spanning over 10 million square feet, the site stretches longer than five Empire State buildings laid flat. Inside, machines don't just build, they evolve. At the heart of it all, the Cybertruck. Forged in dye, casting machines the size of small houses. Its frame isn't assembled, it's stamped in one shot. This isn't traditional manufacturing. This is architectural automation, AI, robotics, and electrification braided into a seamless system. But the ambition doesn't stop at vehicles. Outside the factory walls, Tesla is building its own lithium refining plant, vertically integrating its battery supply chain to reduce dependence on global players like China. The roof, tiled with solar panels, not just to save power, but to showcase self-sufficiency. But beneath the shine, cracks remain. Cybertruck production delays, incomplete access roads, rising water use tensions with nearby municipalities, and time, always time, looms large. Because this isn't just about building faster cars, it's about building the entire ecosystem around them before someone else does. Giga Texas is more than a factory. It's a gamble that one structure if engineered correctly, can shift the balance of industrial power back to American soil. 
And in a world where speed is survival, Texas might be the last place where such a bet still feels possible. Samsung Fab Taylor, Texas. You don't win the future without semiconductors, and Samsung knows it. That's why, on 1,200 acres of farmland in Taylor, Texas, far from the coast, far from Silicon Valley, a $17 billion structure is rising. One of the largest foreign direct investments in US history. It's a chip foundry. But it looks more like a moon base. Spotless corridors, sealed clean rooms, and cranes assembling a labyrinth of precision machinery where even a speck of dust could cost millions. Because inside these walls, light doesn't just move. It sculpts. Photolithography machines etch circuits at the scale of atoms, carving the neural fabric of modern civilization, phones, satellites, missile systems, AI supercomputers, and the stakes have never been higher. The US once made 37% of the world's semiconductors. Today, it's just 12%. Every chip built here is a step toward independence, a pushback against the geopolitical vulnerabilities exposed by global shortages and rising tensions with Taiwan. But it's not just policy driving this build. It's physics. The race to smaller, faster, smarter chips has turned into an arms race of nations. And Taylor, Texas, is becoming a front line. This fab isn't just about keeping pace. It's about laying the groundwork for a new technological order where the tools of tomorrow are built not overseas, but deep in the heart of Texas. SpaceX Starbase, at the southernmost tip of Texas, where the Rio Grande fades into the Gulf and the sky feels infinite, f something otherworldly is rising. Starbase, not just a launch site, but a launch strategy. Not just rockets, but a roadmap to another planet. Here, SpaceX is testing Starship, the largest and most powerful rocket humanity has ever attempted. Taller than the Statue of Liberty, designed to carry 100 tons to Mars, and fully reusable. At the heart of this operation are two towering robotic arms, nicknamed the Chopsticks, capable of catching a rocket out of mid-air. They don't just lift Starship, they cradle ambition. But building the future at the edge of civilization isn't quiet. Explosions have rocked the coastline. Environmentalists have sounded alarms. FAA regulations loom over every scheduled launch. And still, the tower stands. Because Starbase is more than a testing site, it's a prototype city where engineers sleep in trailers, where space tourism may begin, where the infrastructure of tomorrow is built on the ruins of today's limitations. It's not just about leaving Earth. It's about proving you can build launch-ready megastructures on American soil, faster, cheaper, and bigger than ever before. From the coast of Boca Chica to the craters of the moon, Texas is now part of the launch equation. And in the shadow of the starship, the question isn't when we'll go to Mars, it's whether we'll be ready when it's time to leave. Project Connect Austin is booming and buckling under its own weight. Every year, more people arrive, more startups launch, more towers rise. But with them comes a growing problem, motion. Highways are jammed, buses are slow, and for a city fueled by tech, the infrastructure feels stuck in analog. Enter Project Connect, a $10 billion transportation overhaul designed to untangle the urban sprawl with subways, light rail, and zero emission electric buses. But this isn't just a transit map. It's a structural reprogramming of how Austin breathes deep beneath downtown. Tunneling machines bore toward the future, carving paths for a 20-mile light rail network that will thread through tech campuses, housing hubs, and cultural districts. Each line a lifeline, each stop a statement that the city is building, not just upward, but inward. But the challenges are monumental. Delays, budget battles, 
Opposition from locals afraid of gentrification change, and yet the vision persists. Because in a city where innovation is currency and time is the new real estate, the ability to move faster, cleaner, smarter is the only way forward. Project Connect isn't just trying to catch up to the present. It's designing for the kind of future where cities don't just grow, they evolve. These five mega projects are more than construction sites. They're declarations cast in steel, silicon and ambition. They ask, can America still build big things? Can one state lead where others stall? From the first bullet train to the final launch pad, Texas is betting on movement, autonomy, and acceleration. But we're not done yet. In part two, we'll enter the world of energy giants, smart cities, suburban mega experiences, and the towers reclaiming Texas skylines. Because the blueprint of tomorrow is still being drafted. If you're fascinated by the future of infrastructure, mega projects, and the race to rebuild America, subscribe now and join us for the next chapter. This is Structures Unchained.